I be getting licks and such when I be walking. Uh-huh. Able to bag any chick when I start talking. Even white boys be saying, yo, he's awesome. Yeah, I got jewels, but no need to floss them. Uh-huh. And I got friends, got no need to cross them. Uh-huh. Oh, Rick Ross them, that means to boss them. Uh-huh. I love the world, so I take flights often. Uh-huh. And I'm going anywhere, no matter what the cost. Dirty enough was, um, kind of calling for people like us to make some music. You know, so them happen to go and represent with the youth. So the Breath of Fresh Air was just something to make for those who want to hear another conversation. Not saying that I'm, that I'm preaching, but it's still a, what the norm is being played and people are happy about that. My thing was the fact that not to come in again as a person who was the mad rapper or hatred because it's not my era. But something is not right when all of y'all are following the same routine. Like something's wrong with that and nobody's saying nothing. Like everybody's, you know, back then was called biting. If you sound like somebody else, you was getting disrespected. You didn't make what the next person was making. It was something you didn't do. And then it, it didn't last for eight years of them making the same music with the same rappers, with the same content. It was something that just doesn't sound right right now. Nobody's saying anything about what they're hearing. Just like you. Make me call my homie on the phone like there's something new out that got me in the zone. Uh-huh. Just that feeling got me. I wish music can adopt me. Just like you. When I was 17 years old, Russell told me one thing. He said, Eric, always be humble. Know what you're doing. Still be a little bit cocky because that's what rap is, boasting. But just be humble what you're doing because then you'll last longer. That's what happened to me. I was be able to be 22 years in here and not been an asshole. So people would be like, yo, fuck him. You know, because of what he told me. Went to Leo Cohen's wedding in Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. I was young. LL Cousy was in the pool, was in the ocean with a kangaroo on. <laughs> Didn't fall off. I'm like, how's this nigga swimming with his hat? <laughs> oh, yeah. um, you know, Flav Flav had crashed the uh, moped. Didn't know how to ride the moped. I mean, got on the moped, went and just went straight and couldn't stop it and just crashed. We the shit right now, watch this. Told ya. Chit, 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 chillin'. I'm built. I'm not kid Gizmo, we top billin'. I was having a heart attack as we was, as I was getting my blood pressure red. They could see the enzymes from the heart, you know, get ready to do what they gotta do before that. Cause I probably would have had a massive if it was like maybe an hour later or something. If I would've just waited, you know. So I think that what happened to me was a wake up call for me to be here with you telling them because, you know, they got to find a way to get, you know, a plan. But go find out. You don't have no symptoms. It's a silent killer. But it's killing more black people than any other disease or handgun. Go, go, grind. Peace. I love you. God bless. One love.